So, have you ever asked yourself questions like this? Why am I feeling like shit today? Why do I have no energy? Why do I feel unmotivated? And why do I feel unsatisfied in my life? Have you ever asked yourself these questions? I know I certainly have. And it would, it's going to be a lot more common than what you think. A lot of people ask themselves these questions every single day. And we can never get a clear reason to why we feel this way. So, in today's video, I'm going to be giving you guys five daily life habits on how to stop feeling like shit and how to start becoming your greatest version yet. So, what are five simple ways to improve your life through daily habits? Number one, you guys know I'm a firm believer in the NoFap. Stop masturbating. Stop letting go of your sexual energy. Stop having mindless sex for instant gratification. Guys, we, when you have sex, right, and you don't really love this person that you're having sex with, or you're just doing it so you get a quick dopamine hit because you like the way porn looks, and then you feel like shit after, guys, you do realize this is draining your energy, right? And you have these succubus and incubus demons coming in because it's so un normal it's not normal at all to be masturbating and having mindless sex with someone who you really don't love i'm not saying that i'm a religious freak or anything like that i'm saying this because this is real shit and when you do this right you really you literally drain your life force energy for all the way from your crown chakra all the way down to all the way down to your root chakra and your earth star chakra so stop masturbating stop having mindless sex right Guys, you can literally do so much with this sexual energy that you have. You can have so much sexual transmutation into other aspects of your life. You can literally put this sexual energy that you feel, right, and create the life you always wanted. Guys, stop masturbating. Stop having my list up. Habit number two to incorporate into your life. Cold showers. I love cold showers. Cold showers was one of the, the first habits I ever adopted in my early journey of a spiritual awakening or, you know, just straight up wanting to improve my life. And I, I found out through cold showers through another YouTuber. I think his name was Elijah Long. He was a very good YouTuber. I still watch him to this day. And he was like, take a cold shower. And I was like, what? <laughs> wants to put themselves in that uncomfortable situation that's the point right when you take a cold shot right you're literally putting yourself into an uncomfortable situation that you are not used to at all so when you take a cold shot right it's been scientifically proven to literally cure depression have that blue spot in your brain right completely vanish it's it's been proven to improve mood it's been proven to put you in a state of flow it's been proven to have all these chemicals running through your through your body right norepinephrine dopamine serotonin it's so good for you and in the ancient in the ancient times right they say the japanese people said that a cold shower or a cold bath or a co like a dip in the cold lake it cleanses the soul guys start taking cold showers right this will literally transform into every other area into your life and you will feel so much better than you have ever felt before your energy levels will skyrocket through the roof you will drain your lymphatic system right and you will just feel so much more crystal clear and i'm a firm believer that cold showers will be one of the biggest life shifts that you ever have in your life i know it's something so stupid but when you get that jolt and that energy going through your body, you have no other choice but to go <gasps> like that. And trust me, very powerful stuff. You have a lot of energy. What is habit number three? So this is something I've actually implemented very recently into my life. And it's starting to write down my goals. Right over there, right? Right above my TV. Before I play any video games, before I walk out of the room, before, as soon as I wake up, right? I see those goals right there, right? And I say... Alright, what am I going to do today? 
So I have a, a thing of every morning and daily goals, right? I have morning goals and then I have daily goals. My morning goals would be to meditate, cold shower, drink a big ass glass of coffee, drink my three cups of water, right? And fast for a little bit until I'm ready to go to the gym. Guys, when, when you write down your goals, right? You have more motivation to actually achieve them when you write them down rather than just keeping them in your brain right because you, f you forget about them when they're in your brain because we're so consumed with like just social media we're so consumed with um other people's opinions so we're not really focusing on ourselves when we don't have these things written down right in front of us and we just can't achieve it we don't have the same motivation for it and we don't have the same will the same drive so start writing down your goals keep those goals next to you and start attacking them and transmute that that energy from the cold showers and the the no fab start attacking your goals and write them down i'm telling you guys very powerful shift what is the fourth habit to improve your life forever that would be to stop procrastinating and i know this is easier said than done guys when you procrastinate right you're literally procrastinating your life think about this one day you're gonna die you can't procrastinate death that shit's coming for you, no matter what. So if you're procrastinating your goals, right? How are you gonna feel on your deathbed? How are you gonna feel on your deathbed? You're gonna feel like shit, right? Because those omens or those ghosts of the lingering hope that you had when you were uh, a teenager, a kid, an adult, all those things you wanted to do, start that business, get that job, get that degree, um, travel the world, all those things that you want to do will die right by your side, right? So stop procrastinating, start attacking your goals because you are literally the only person who can achieve your goals. Nobody else is going to achieve your goals for you, only you. And you have to have the will, the power, the strength to achieve those goals in your life. And quite frankly, we don't have enough of those people in the world. We're, we're, very, we're in a world of very um, sensitive people and I feel like people need to like tell people now like, yo, Fucking achieve your goals, bro. Stop being so sensitive. Who cares what people think about you? I just had a conversation with my with my pops, right? I was like, I'll wait until tomorrow to do my video. I don't like when you guys are home. He's like, get the fuck out of here, right? And I was just like, what do you mean? And he, he goes, just do your fucking video. I don't care. So, guys, stop being afraid to achieve your goals. Stop procrastinating. Just do what you gotta do. And if it's something stupid like taking out the garbage or walking the dog this is all things that i've struggled with and it's not even like a struggle it's just like a thing like a, ugh, i don't want to do it guys i'm going to give you a really powerful method and it's going to sound really stupid go like this three two one move just run out of the room and do what you got to do just do it because once you do it you get into a snowball effect of wanting to do other things and then other things and then other things and then other things telling you guys stop procrastinating you're gonna procrastinate your life you're gonna die and you're gonna live with this regret so let that fear seep in with you what is the fifth way to improve your life forever exercise i can't stress this enough i've been exercising for the past five six years in my life right and it is literally the probably the second best thing next to no fat that i've been doing because it gets your first of all it gets your testosterone going number one gets your physique looking nice as fuck number two Number three, it gives you more energy. That's number three. Number four, it gives you more motivation to eat healthier. Number five, it gives you more confidence. Just imagine what you can do with those five things right there, right? You can fucking attack the day every single day. This is why, like, when people who are like, oh, I don't like exercising, it makes me feel like shit. Bro, fucking exercise. Like, man, it will make you feel so good. Yes, it sucks for the first month. I know, I know. I remember for the first time when I was losing my weight and I was just like, man, I'm really not feeling this shit. Let me just not do this. And I went, I like, I had summer school that year too. And I was just like, I don't want to do this no more. So I stopped it. And you know, that little intuition in, in your head. And it's just like, yo, keep going to the gym. Bro, let me tell you, I love the gym so much. I go start, go to your local gym and sign up. You're going to feel so good. Even if you have no idea what you're doing, ask around become more social this is i made f tons of friends in my in my gym and i'm not really like that social of a person you know and this is something that i'm actually going to try and work on just becoming more social so i start exercising start getting that testosterone running through you if you're a female start getting that estrogen running through you start feeling good start eating good 
start feeling more confident in yourself. Exercise will literally amplify every single area of your life. So will no fat, so will cold showers, so will writing down your goals, and so will stop procrastinating. Bro, if you guys put all these things into your life, I promise you guys, you, you have all the tools of success right at your side if you implement these and you work on it on a daily on a daily practice right you guys will go far in your life and I promise you that and I'm also going to be reading a book called Think and Grow Rich and I'm going to be making probably about 3-4 videos on that book not like a review but like questions that I have and I'm going to answer it on here and I'm going to help you guys think and grow rich so, I'm going to give you guys an additional tip. It's not a habit, right? Cut off all toxic ties in your life, whether it be friends, social media, porn, video games, instant gratification. Cut all those ties off. I cut off, like, literally 95% of my friends. And, yeah, I love those, those people, right? But, guys, you have to do what you have to do to become successful. And if something is weighing you down and you don't want to become your greatest version because of, like, something toxic, that, that tie with a toxic thing, bro, you guys can become so successful if you guys sever that tie and only focus on yourself. And I know this is, like, a very selfless generation, but this is how you have to think in order to thrive and succeed. So, that's it for this video, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.